Yes, guys, welcome back to the adventure. Today, we are here at Gresty Road, but we're only here to park because we're using the famous cruise station to travel down to Wolverhampton to see Wolves take on Manchester United. Yes, I managed to get a ticket to the game last night through a lot of stress and hassle. I've been wanting to come to this game for a couple of weeks now, so I'm very, very happy to be going to Molyneux today. These two teams clashing in the Premier League. Wolverhampton Wanderers are winless. They lost to Leicester and Tottenham by a goal to nil and Manchester United smacked Leeds by five goals to one at Old Trafford but then drew to Southampton 1-1. So Wolves are looking for their first win and Manchester United are looking to head back to the top of the table. So without further ado, it's time to swap Cresty Road for Molyneux. Let's get to Crew Station and get on the train and head down there. Let's go. Right, I've made it, we're at Wolverhampton. Now, I've no idea where the ground is, so I'm gonna follow these Wolves fans. I think they'll know. Out of all the stadiums that I've been to, I've never been able to look over and into a stadium. That is honestly so cool. Tell you what, I may have got my ticket yesterday, but flipping it, the view, insane. I know I don't like being in the upper, but I'll tell you what, I've got no choice for today, but it's binging an amazing view. Okay, the Wolves team. Wolves are unchanged from their 1-0 defeat here at Molyneux to Spurs. Conor Cody, the key man at the back. The dynamic Portuguese duo in the midfield of Jao Moutinho and Ruben Neves. Adama and Jimenez have to score the goals today. That is the Wolves team. Time to get to United. Manchester United, Rafael Varane makes his debut at the back. He's going to pair alongside Harry Maguire. Jadon Sancho makes his first start for Manchester United. Still no recognised striker. I believe Pogba could play in that number 10 forward role, uh, dropping back to midfield to help out Fred. Uh, I'm not too sure about that one. Uh, Greenwood starting on the right um, or maybe the left. I don't know because Sancho's usually the right and then Greenwood on the left. I'm interested to see how Oli's going to put out his team. But yeah, Varane and Sancho start. No Ronaldo, of course. I don't think United have actually completed the signing of Ronaldo. I think they've just announced the deal. I think the deal's been agreed uh, but not completed. I'm not too sure about that one. I need to actually research it. Obviously, I'm still disappointed that City didn't sign him. But yeah, very much looking forward to this game. It's Wolves Street, Manchester United at Molyneux. Let's have a great game. So here's a couple of stats for you. Now I was checking these two teams record and it's one of the most interesting records you're ever gonna hear. Listen to this. At Old Trafford, Manchester United have played Wolves a total of 45 times. Manchester United have only won 13 of these meetings. Wolves have won 22. However, the record here at Molyneux is in United's favour. Again, there's been 45 meetings. Manchester United have won 29 of those meetings with Wolves only winning nine. That's a weird record. Usually you think that you do better at home than you do away. It's contrast. Manchester United have a much better record at Wolves here than they do at Old Trafford. It's a little bit weird. And the same goes with Wolves. They've got a better record at Old Trafford than they do at Molyneux. Yeah, that's a bit of a weird start. I thought I'd share that one with you guys. So Wolves have just announced Wang Pichan from Leipzig signing today. He's just come out on the pitch, completed his medical. That's a great signing, great striker.
Okay, we're at the back of the stand and it's half time. Wolverhampton Wanderers now and Manchester United now. If you're a Wolves fan, you are delighted on how the first half went. Like, Wolves were absolutely fantastic and they they reminded me of a Tottenham when City played Tottenham and they're just devastating on the counter attack. Uh, but the thing is, Wolves need to find that goal. You've got to score when you're on top. Wolves haven't been able to find that goal as of yet. Raul Jimenez came really close. It was. Um, Traore tried to switch the ball, but he didn't get the ball right. It came off Fred. Jimenez found himself through. He opened his body up. He was going to finesse it with the left foot. I'm not sure who blocked it. I think it might have been Varane or Shaw. I'm not too sure who blocked it. No jokes intended there. But um, yeah, it was a terrific block. I do not know how balls are not ahead, to be honest. As we got towards half time, Manchester United gradually got themselves in the game. Bruno did have the ball in the net but he was yards off and we could see it from up here. The flag did eventually go up. Uh, United fans didn't know, so they were celebrating. So there was a little bit of um, little bit of playful banter between the Wolves and the United fans after that goal. But yeah, in my opinion, Wolves have been the better team and they're unlucky to not be ahead. They've had a couple of chances. De Gea's made a couple of good saves, but that's credit to the Manchester United defence as well. Uh, and the defence is actually extremely strong. wan Saka, Shaw, Maguire and Varane. Uh, Varane compliments Maguire on pace. Shaw and wan Saka are just very, very good defenders. Shaw's better offensively towards than wan Saka is. So the defence is extremely strong and Wolves should be ahead and probably against any other defence. Uh, bar maybe City, Chelsea's or Liverpool's, they would be. They've been fantastic, uh, but Manchester United's defence has been extremely strong and they need to stay resilient in this second half. Right, it's time to get into the second half for Wolves versus Manchester United at Molyneux. It's a terrific game, terrific atmosphere. Time at Molyneux and it's finished. Wolverhampton Wanderers nil, Manchester United won. United walk away with the three points from Molyneux today. So quick analysis on the game. In the first half, Wolverhampton Wanderers are absolutely fantastic. Going forward, they were lightning on the break as well as Adama. He was brilliant. Uh, Jimenez, they were all working together really, really well. But the fact is they had no goal to show for it. They were dominating the match, but they had no goal. And that was the end, end problem, really. The fact is they dominated the game but didn't score and United made them pay and the good teams will make you pay. Teams like Manchester United that can soak up pressure with the brilliant back four that they have and then come at you on the break and Mason Greenwood's low shot 
the goalkeeper got a hand, but it was in to the top corner and United got the goal and then they killed out the game in United style. Fantastic. They were, they were brilliant the way that they killed out the game. Yeah, a little bit of time wasted, but they did what they had to do to get the three points. And so that is going to bring an end to the vlog. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe down below to join my football adventure. And I will see you guys very, very soon for another vlog. Peace out from Molyneux.